Well, I pulled all the ferns out of all of the Nepenthes last weekend and repotted them. I, I literally just ripped them up out of the pots. So, uh, some of them don't really have roots, so they're all bagged. I want to say it was on Monday that I did it, so they've been sitting like this for a week now. Um, because that papaya that I repotted that I pulled out of the garden, it had way more roots than those ferns did, and it took a week for it to recover in a bag. It's sitting downstairs. Uh, so what's going on in here? I've been slowly pollinating this Bastiana by Campanulata. Hopefully it's going well. Um, it's a very long flower stalk as usual. And uh, this Sorellia by Campanulata, most of it took, which is exciting. It's by Spectabilis telangensis. I mean, that's what the tag says too. Um, I wish this boy would have bloomed sooner, the Campanula Campanulata by Spectabilis by telangensis. I guess if any of you guys need some pollen, I might be able to send some. So I, I pollinated one section of that Bastiana by Campanulata with, with this boy. Um, I don't know, maybe I should save some of that in the fridge. It doesn't really, I mean in my experience it doesn't keep too, too long. Maybe, maybe a year, maybe if some of these girls bloom again next year I'll be able to pollinate with it. So some of these female blooms though, the pods don't seem to elongate. And I put the Spectabilis by Telangensis on this one too, so you would think that uh, presumably it took, so why are they not longer? But maybe this is just what this female does. It's the Nephthys from uh, Leilani. I think it's like Campanulata and Ampularia or something like that. It's all lowlanders, but it does pretty great despite that. I actually had it outside in San Diego and it was fine. What else? Um, I'm doing a round of uh, systemic insecticide on everything. Look, all of these lost their leaves. It's so terrible. Why are these great and these are awful? <laughs> anyway, so um, systemic insecticide for everybody because I had those. Ooh, I think this is the um, Aristolochioides. I'm glad it has a new growth point on it. Um, so I had those spider mites last year, right? And I want to be bug free. So absolutely everybody got some systemic. And you know, I pulled all of the little baby Nepenthes out of these containers, but I see some more pictures in there now, like especially in the middle of this guy. I don't know if you can see that, but there's definitely a little tiny picture right there. So maybe there's even more little seedlings that I get to pull out. Um, what else? I have leftover potting mix because I repotted a couple guys. Let me see if I can find where I stuck them. Where did they go? They're, they're guys who look a little bit more Highlander. So where did I put them? Here's one of them. That's Raja by Burpigia. And the others... Oh, I pulled the, the pots from the Lithops that did nothing. I have yet to dump them or whatever. Um, I put the others here that I repotted. This uh, Ventricosa, how do you pronounce it? Like Ma Magda Os. Here's the tag on it. So um, it actually, once I, once I pulled it out of its pot, it didn't actually look like it needed extra root space, but if it was already out, I decided to give it a nicer pot anyway, because it looks a little bit, I mean, for lack of a better word, demented, <laughs> so. And then this one's uh, Brabidgei. So this one definitely needed a new pot. Um, there was that fern here, I pulled it out. So I lost two of my pings last year, the Gigantia that I had for a long, long time. I mean, I was always kind of bad at them anyway, so I guess not surprised, but a little bit sad. I even put a little bit of a systemic insecticide in here too. Um, because if they're out of their containers now, then they're as vulnerable as everybody else. They're they're actually settling in okay, so I'm I'm pretty excited. Did I put more than one here, or is that one just tall? Maybe it's just tall. This one definitely has more than one. Did I? Does it not have a tag? Oh, maybe it's the. 
Maybe it's the one that I didn't know what it was because the tag had kind of disappeared. Well, that's okay too. Fine. <laughs> um, this Clipiata looks like it's dead. It's terrible. Luckily I still have one left. Man. It's sad when you lose plants. Even if they're not your absolute favorite, still, they're nice and it's sad. This one has been, this, this Campanulata cross, it's by like Vichia or something. It's it's looked terrible and barely grown the whole entire like decade that I've had it, but fine. There's um, Campanulata, I think it's by Burbidge. Uh, ooh, I guess this does still have spider mites. It's a uh, Passiflora quadrilog quadrilangularis you can tell by the stem so i definitely poured extra insecticide on that guy not a big picture must be a big picture let's look at that why the leaf is so far down hey that's a nice picture it's by hemigwitanensis something by hemigwitanensis maybe ventricosa so it's kind of a tight squeeze here but I finally have some tenuous pictures again they're cute and small. Here's my finger for scale. Um, should probably put this guy, the the, the little non-carnivorous line, in some sort of pot, but I'll get to it eventually. <laughs> um, what else? What else? What else? Um. What else? There's a broken off leaf from my repotting adventures. Uh, maybe it'll be a little bit of a shorter one this year. I was hoping that this Ventricosa by Trismediensis would bloom too, so that I could cross it with the um, Campanulata by Spectabilis by Talangensis pollen too, but that didn't work out. Um, or I was hoping that the um, Peter Diamato would bloom too, and I'd be able to cross that with the Campy Spectalan, but that didn't work either. But, I mean, fine. Hopefully, hopefully with this round of um, insecticide too, things will look a little bit perkier, and I'll go back to a nice bug-free state, and things will look a little bit better. Oh, look, everybody has new growth. I find that a lot of these seem to like to grow um, in the winter time better. I don't know if it's because the temperatures are a little bit cooler or, or what's going on, but as long as they don't die, I guess I'm happy. <laughs> um, yep. And I thought that uh, Simon was a goner for a while. I was super sad, but he just pumped out a new picture, so that's good. This is Simon here, because he has those red, red veins in his leaves. So um, that's it for uh, inside. Outside, I thought it was going to hit freezing overnight. This upcoming Thursday night, it's Saturday, so I pulled the hose off the house, and um, that new that new bin for rainwater is going well. It's full after um, a day of rain here, so I moved it into a smaller. Um, kitty litter bucket that I had that I was using uh, just as like a garbage can um, whenever I had uh, yard kind of uh, waste like old twine that was shredding so I put some extra water in that so I have tons of rainwater outside these guys are gonna get rain watered with uh, rainwater instead of RO from the tap for maybe a week or two which is nice um, and because I'm putting the, the systemic on them, I'm not afraid of bugs really transferring, I guess, because they'll just get nuked. Um, the garden, if it did hit freezing, I assume I would uh, need to go... Let's give you a nice view of pictures while I talk, right? I assume that I would need to go um, pick all the last of the maypops and the loofah and the beans and stuff, but I think it might not end up hitting freezing yet, so it'll have a little bit longer to ripen, but really with how cold it is, they won't really be ripening so much as the plant decides to, to give up and dry things out, which is kind of what I need anyway too, right? So it's fine. Um, so that's, that's about it for this week. Um, 
This one container over here is just sphagnum moss. I pulled all the rest of the Nepenthes out of everything. So I'll put, I guess, I guess I'll be short on space again once all of these seeds and these seeds and these seeds ripen. But I'm going to say it, it takes like six months for them to ripen or something ridiculous like that. So I'm not out of space for the time being. And uh, maybe it'll give me time to, I don't know, consolidate again or something or think of something else. So uh, that's it for this week. See you next week.